Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the call. Very important call today, guys. We're going to touch on some uh, some some pretty darn important stuff as far as I'm concerned. Uh, how to get the banking information, quoting the client, and we are actually going to be mailing out thank you cards for those of you who want us to. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. It's really important, you know, the day after you make a sale to send the client a card with your business, you know, like a little note, a thank you note with your business card in it and maybe a, a brochure from the, uh, from the client. So guys, as we're doing this, you see it, you, you're getting calls too from people that says spam call. What's happening is as you're calling your clients, believe it or not, whether they recognize your number or not, even though you've texted them or possibly even left them a message, they're going to mark you as spam. So it's super, super, super important that you actually check for this, So, which is pretty easy. The, all you simply have to do is call your own cell phone from the system. And FYI, guys, when you're using the system and you're dialing your clients, it does have an 800 number. So you shouldn't be calling from your 800 number. You should be calling from your localized number. Brandon, could you do me a favor, please, and come on and maybe, you know, explain exactly what we need to do when we realize that we've been marked as spam? Yeah. So whenever you're marked as spam, it's a simple fix, but it takes a little bit of time. Uh, so there's a website and it's called freecallerregistry.com. And what you do is on freecallerregistry.com, you're going to put in the phone numbers that you're using. And I recommend just listing every phone number that you're using, your 800 number, your local numbers for whichever states that you're selling out of. Uh, and all it's going to do is ask you how many calls do you expect to make per month? just say 500 or 1,000 or something like that. And it's going to ask you what the nature of your industry is. Say it's financial services. In the description, just say, I'm a licensed life and health insurance agent, and I only make calls to individuals that request information from me. No cold calling. You do that, and you're going to get an email within 24 to 48 hours. And half the time, they tell you, oh, your phone isn't marked spam you're okay. But we all know that it actually was marked spam. So what they do is they just register it. They make sure it's not marked in spam. They go through the major phone carriers and they pull you off that spam registry. So you'll probably get one email, but it'll send to other companies. I won't send you an email. That'll just take you off the registry. Uh, so turn time on that. If you find out that you have been marked spam and you put in the request, it can take 24 hours, so one day to three business days. What I advise doing at that point is call from a separate number that has not been marked spam or purchase another number. Make sure that one is not marked as spam and use that number for a day or two until everything fixes itself. Beautiful. All right, Brandon. Plain and simple. Thank you very much. Yeah, guys, you got to check it at least a couple of times a week. Uh, it's important because what you don't want to be doing is calling your clients only to realize, only to not realize that you're marked as as spam, and that's why they're not answering the phone. So very, very important, uh, guys. I want to uh, I want to welcome actually some some new agents that are just on their first call today. Uh, Michelle and Frank, James, Jason, Mauricio. Uh, glad to see you guys uh, are, are, are coming into the platform. So welcome. We'll get you squared away and ready to rock and roll within the next two to three weeks for sure. All right. Using the underwriting slash quoting tool. Th this thing is pretty awesome. It, it, you know, in the beginning, the first couple of years these guys had it, they were really working the bugs out of it. But I feel like they've really got it down to where this thing is like 99% like accurate. Um, I've been messing around with it myself, and it seems to be really accurate about how it works. So what I do want to say, and to me, this is very important. You should always be quoting three prices above $65 a month. The last thing you want to do is tell the client, hey, okay, uh, write down these three options and then have one of them, the third option, be $35. They will naturally levitate to that cheap number. 
So that's why here's an example. What I want to do is I want to give um, the first option to be over $100 the second option to be around $100, and the third option to be over 65, but not too expensive. And the reason being is because those same people that will naturally go to that $35 option, if you show it to them, will go to $71, and it'll be the same. But not only that, but now by doing it this way, you're going to get more premium, and you're going to be able to be prepared to do your price drop close. So all you literally have to do is let them know, you know, hey, uh, let's see if we can do something else. I'm not sure. To me, I when I do a price drop, I want to make sure that I do an actual takeaway. So I'll give you a couple examples of a takeaway. Uh, a takeaway is when here the client you're on the phone with the client and they say, listen, I've got a bunch of health issues. I, I really don't know if you can even insure me. So to me, the takeaway, what I do as a takeaway is I don't want to make it easy. I want to go, oh, yeah, don't worry. We can insure anybody over 40 years old. No, we're not doing that. It's the other way around. Well, Mrs. Jones, I can't make any promises because if you do have some health issues, they, they may not uh, actually be able to help you with these special programs. But I'm going to just make one promise. I'm going to try my best. OK, so that's the takeaway. So now when you come back and you say, hey, I got great news. We've got three options for you. They actually, it looks like you've been pre-approved. Now it sounds like something that actually makes sense to them. And now they're like, okay, great, great. Now we can do this. So it actually helps to motivate them to buy. Um, and that's the way I see it. You, you want to do the, the takeaway anytime you do, especially with the price drops. So I'm showing them let's say, for example, the 135, the 95 and the $71. And so they're going, oh, no, I can't afford that. What I'm going to say, I'm not going to say, oh, don't worry, we can lower the price. I'm not doing that. I'm saying, hmm, I'm not sure if we can we can help you with this. But let me let me just see if the system will allow something lower. Um, no promises. Just give me a moment, please. And then when you come back, hey, I got great news. They actually did approve you for an option. Um, write this down. $5,000 for $38 a month. Now, what's your middle initial? You go on as if they're buying. You just push right through the sale. Very simple, guys. Use a takeaway. Don't make it too easy for these folks because that's what everyone else is trying to do also. And to me, we, we're do, what we're doing is we're selling something special, something unique. You know, It's not like you're another agent knocking on their door because they filled out another card. That's not what's happening here. This is completely unique in the, in the way that we, our whole system works. So sometimes your client is simply not going to have their checking account number. You have to help them with it. The big fail is when they say, well, you know, my daughter will be here later. She can help me with it. Or I'll just call you back with it later. Don't listen to that nonsense. That's how they get rid of you, one. And two, they may actually think they're going to call you back, but then won't. But then they'll change their mind later. They'll realize, eh, you know, maybe I really, I, you know, I've gone 65 years without the insurance. Maybe I can go another year. You know, that's what, that's the kind of thing that goes through people's heads. So don't allow them to take care of it later. What you need to do is get, ask the client what bank they use and where it's at. If you can't help them find it on their smartphone. And that's really the first way to go. Because look, these people are filling out these Facebook forms. That's how they're meeting with you. Most of them are doing it on their smartphone. So they know how to log into their checking account. You just got to tell them, look, log into your bank. You'll see the last four numbers of your account number. Click on that. And then the whole account number will open up. Now read that number to me. That's how you do it. Um, always. And remember, guys, I know there's some of you are brand new on the call with the routing number. The routing number is the same for Wells Fargo everywhere in Florida. Now, it's going to be different in a different state, but it's going to be everywhere in that state, too. It's going to be the same number in that state. So just remember, the the uh, those numbers are based on the state, not the bank itself. But it is OK. I'm saying this wrong. If it's Bank of America, it's going to be the same routing number in everywhere in Florida. Now, it's going to be different in a different state, but it'll be everywhere in that state. If it's Chase Bank, Chase is going to have their own unique routing number, which will be the same everywhere in Florida. It'll be different uh, based on the states. OK, so just keep that in mind. So you could literally Google Wells Fargo, Georgia, 
uh, routing number, and it's going to pop up right there on Google. So, um, but here's the thing. If you can't get them to log into the, the account, you need to ask them where their bank is. You need to Google the bank and you need to, you need to walk them through it. Is this, this the location on Main Street there in your city? Yeah, that's the one I go through. Oh, okay, great. Then you need to call that location. You want to prep them for it a little bit. Just make sure that you call that location and not an 800 number. If you call an 800 number with most of these banks, they will not give the client the account number. They're going to tell the client, oh, you need to come in for that. Um, guys, please uh, double check. Somebody uh, unmuted themselves. So make sure you're actually muted. Um, and that's basically it with that. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, before I get to thank you cards, I do want to do one thing with you guys. I am going to change the screen share because I want to show you the quoting tool. And I know some of you guys haven't used it or haven't even seen it. Um, I love this thing. I've been messing with the thing and I love it. So I've got a 74 year old here that's that's all good to go. Um, I already put in the health condition that he had a stroke that he's a diabetic. I put in that he's been taking warfarin for three years since he had the stroke. So those of you guys, here's your, here's your first lesson for the day. With most blood thinners and a lot of our carriers, once they've been taking the blood thinner for more than two years, they don't count it as like a treatment. They count it as a maintenance medication to prevent the event. So in this, this example, the client had a stroke three years ago in 2019, and he's been taking warfarin ever since, and he's on insulin also for three years. So I love this thing. So let's, let's take a look at the quote. So of course, CVS Health is perfect for this guy in, in one way and one way only, the price. The problem with CVS Health is that they do not do true social security billing. So next month, when July 3rd, falls on a, I believe on a Sunday, CVS Health is not going to draft the payment correctly. Neither is Mutual of Omaha or some of the other carriers. Now, if you see this little yellow star and you hover over it, boom, it shows you who will draft the payment correctly every single month. And of course, our favorite, my favorite, I should say, American Amicable pops right up. And it says it right there. They offer true social security billing. Fun fact, guys. This is kind of weird, but eight, nine years ago, when Transamerica, who was the first company, I think it was either Amer American Amicable or Transamerica, came out with the true social security billing, figuring out a way to actually draft the payment exactly on every, every month on the exact day that the client receives the benefits. So they didn't call it that. They just called it social security billing. So I remember speaking with, with, uh, with them and saying, hey, everybody does social security billing. This is different. And I actually started using the word true social security billing. So the guys that built this, um, this quoting tool used to be on an insurance forum that I was on all the time and talking about that. And they actually got it from me. So yeah, I'm the guy that actually keyed the term true social security billing. Fun fact, you think it's, you think it's ego? It's not. It's true. All right, a little bit of ego. But I love this. I love this. Don't laugh at me, guys. <laughs> Somebody's not on mute. <laughs> um, the cool thing about this quoting tool is, let's go down here. Here, so Transamerica, it has the little question mark, and they're, they're letting you know because they have standard and prefer. So they're letting you know it would have been preferred, but with the insulin, no, they're going to give you standard. So Mutual of Omaha, check this out. Notice there's no star because they don't do true social security billing, which means three or four months out of the year, they're going to draft the payment late. And by that time, these low income folks that we're selling will have already taken all their money out of the account and they're going to get an insufficient fund. So that's why we don't like to use Mutual of Omaha. That's why we want to avoid them at all costs. But let's see, what's this little dollar sign? It lets you know. OK, so this is the Living Promise graded option. It lets you know that you're going to lose up to 40% commission. So like if, you're, if your Mutual of Omaha commission level is, let's say, uh, 100%, it could be as low as 60 with this graded. Um, I actually don't think it is. I think it's a little higher with us. So, um, all right. Uh, 
I'm trying to figure out how to mute somebody here because I can't do it with this. Give me a second, guys. All right, we got mute, mute. Sorry, guys. All right, so back to the to the Mutual of Omaha. Um, it tells the plan information when you hover over the little eye. So it lets you know the, the, it's, it's return of premium plus 10%. And there's a little question, which is the why, just like it was with Transamerica. Why? If treated with warfarin for stroke within two years, living prom is great. So it, it's pretty sweet. Now let, let's go to, let's say we're going to write American Amicable with this. Let's get a comparison, right? We already know this is the $10,000 option. So let's do a... 15,000, I'm gonna guesstimate. And maybe, let's see, what was the price on that? It was under, it was right under 100, I think. So let's go a little bit lower, go 8,000. So, and this is what I love about this quoting tool. Oh, here's the other thing. You got immediate coverage. Um, let me go back one thing. There's one other thing that this tool does, the payment type. So if you got a client, you know they use Direct Express or a debit card. You punch that in, and it'll only show you the carriers that will actually show you that they will actually take Direct Express or the debit card. So pretty sweet. All right, so let's see. Back to this, and we got to start this over. So we're going to go fifteen thousand, ten thousand, and then I think I said eight thousand. Let's hit compare quotes. So now we've got all right. So now we've got that that. AIG product. Check your carrier. Oh, that's, that's not what we wanted. American Amicable Senior Choice. That's what we were pricing. All right. And so now you've got your three options, which line up right around what I said. You know, you've got the one option over a hundred bucks, another, the middle option around a hundred bucks, and the third option around 81 bucks, ready for a price drop close. So this is pretty sweet, guys. I, I just wanted to show you this because I think to me, and also here you can change the, the payment also. If uh, let's say you just realize, oh, wait, uh, the client's only has a direct express. They thought it was a bank account, but it's direct express. Now you go to hit the compare quotes and let's see what it does. It's still going to show you that, but American Amicable isn't going to take the direct express. So keep that in mind. You got to, you know, it, apparently you got to make that switch on this page. So let's try it one more time. Bank draft, direct express, get quote. Boom, there you go. So uh, <laughs> there you go. American Amicable has gone. Uh, and now prosperity is the way to go. So that to me is why we like prosperity so much because they're one of the companies that will take those debit cards and those direct express cards. All right. Let's get back to this. Give me one moment, guys. So we are, uh, we, my, my wife volunteered, and she may have already changed her mind, but we'll figure that out. She volunteered to, to help us with thank you cards. So uh, the bottom line is uh, we'll do them for $3 each. And what we'll do is we'll actually, if, if there's a brochure with the product, like if you sell Prosperity, I think they have a nice envelope size brochure. I can stick it right in there. Otherwise, I'll put your, you know, whatever you want us to put in the envelope. Um, to me, you're going to want to order like return address labels because we'll send it out for you, but it's going to look like it's coming from you. You know, the thank you note's going to have your information in it too. So you want to send us really um, return address labels, business cards, maybe even like the, uh, the little business card magnets. That way they're getting, you know, a brochure from the company, a thank you note that says when it reminds them of the monthly payment and the draft date, and it's going to have your address on it, your business card. We will do this for you for three bucks each. So keep this in mind, guys. Um, you don't, you just need to send us the, the clients, you know, pertinent information, you know, their, their, their name, their address, the draft date and the premium and the name of the product that, that you sold them. That way, you know, if there's a brochure available, we can make sure we put that in. Um, but to me right now, I look at it this way. If you're not doing this, and I know some of you guys are producing at a high level. Um, I've got two agents in mind right now, and you guys both know who you are, and you haven't sent out these thank you cards. This is going to cost you. These people will start to fall off the books. You need to communicate with your clients. That's how you're going to keep them on the books. So if you make a sale today, you really want to send them a thank you card tomorrow. And if you don't do that, let us do it for you. 
That's the bottom line. You just shoot me an email. We'll, um, if, if you're interested in doing this, let me know ahead of time. I would say if you're brand new to the platform, um, don't worry about it right away. Get through the, your first few weeks or so. Um, but you should still be sending out the thank you cards the day after you make a sale. It's only going to take you, look, it seems like a pain in the butt. It's going to take you like five to 10 minutes the most, if you think about it, for each client but they're getting something personal from you immediately. And now you've got them in your CRM. And so Brandon can show you how to use the, the CRM correctly um, so that you can actually set it up to where you get automations too. He'll help you with that. Just, just ask him, ask him about, it. ask him what needs to be done. Ask him what automation you're interested in. And he'll let you know if he can do that or not. For sure, we can send out like a reminder for you for the client's birthday. So you can actually call them on their birthday. Think about it. Their kids aren't even doing that half the time. The beneficiaries of the, of the insurance. So guys, that's, I believe that is it. That's all we needed to really important stuff I needed to cover. If you guys need anything, please, you know how to reach me. Just uh, shoot me a text or what have you. Those of you who are brand new to the platform, I'm going to ask you in about a week from now, if you just did your contracting, like in the past couple of days, wait about. I hate to say this sounds like a lot, but seven business days and start calling the carriers. Verify that they have everything, that everything's being processed. Um, we're about three to five days behind in the contracting. So we're still working on that. We'll get you guys up and running. Um, some of you guys did get an email from Brandon. I highly recommend, he's, he's getting slammed. I highly recommend um, preparing to do the setup with him for your Facebook ads. You know, he's going to send you an email. He probably, I know a lot of you guys already got it. Reply to the email so that he can get the process started. He's going to have two different training sessions with you. And that way we can actually get you selling within the next three weeks. Guys, uh, you got today, we got tomorrow, Friday, and then you got the weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Have a great rest of your week.